Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am here to do finally part two of my haul. The first one was home decor so it had a lot of like glam and girly things. So if you haven't checked that one out I will definitely link it down below. This portion is going to be mostly makeup, clothing, and some skincare I believe. But I hope you guys are excited. I found some really good things and I always love sharing with my YouTube family. So without further ado let's jump right in. I'm actually going to start off with a perfume that I've been loving it reminds me a lot of Coco Chanel Mademoiselle but very toned down so this is the Givenchy Dahlia Devine such a beautiful bottle I love how clean and simple it is this would look so beautiful displayed I just want to thank Givenchy for sending it to me and I've really really been enjoying this so thank you again next Ofra Cosmetics I just love their company I love how they're just a small brand but they've blew up so much within the makeup community so they sent me two new new items and it is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive but guys this highlight is so stunning I absolutely love their highlights I've told you guys before if there's one thing that you try from Ofra definitely their highlights are a must I love every single one that I've tried it is so beautiful the consistency is so soft look at how pigmented that is I just love 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 their highlights they look wet I don't know if you guys can catch it on camera. But for me, what I look for in highlights is just that they look wet on my skin. I've absolutely been loving this. It is what I have on my face today. Thank you again to Ofra and Octoly for giving me the opportunity to try new items. The next item that they sent me is their Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick Trio Set. And this is the Vintage Vineyard Collection. This is their new collection. They released these colors for Valentine's Day and I just love it because it's totally different than what people usually come out with for Valentine's Day. Usually it's like reds, pinks, and this is in that family but it's just a little different. So it comes with three colors. The one that I'm wearing right now is called Tuscany and I absolutely love it. These are the colors that I always grab gravitate towards because they just look really good on my skin. This color right here is called Cape Town. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. It looks like a berry color. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Look at how nice that is. I don't know, for some reason I'm not really big on Ofra's scents for their liquid lipsticks, but I do love how they wear. They don't bother me after a while the smell fades away. There's one thing that I would definitely change about their liquid lipsticks is the scent of them. It just bothers me when I put them on. Like I said, it does fade away after a while, but I don't know. I'm just big on smells, so the things like that bother me. Anyways, the last color is called Bordeaux. And it is a beautiful vampy purple or like an eggplant color. Very pretty if you're into that. And I think this collection is so, so beautiful if you're into berry colors. But if you're not into berries, then I don't think it'll be worth it for you because these colors are more on the berry vampy side. But I'm definitely loving them and I will totally continue to enjoy them. Okay, the next item that I received that I am loving, it is by the brand Sacha or Sasha, I'm not sure. It is called their Buttercup Setting Powder. I heard so many good things about this from a lot of beauty gurus are here on YouTube and I wanted to give it a try. I only use the Laura Mercier setting powder, but when I tried this, I fell in love because it has that beautiful brightening yellow color and I love that when powders have that, but some powders can make you look sick. I don't know about you guys, but I've tried the Ben Nye uh, banana powder and that totally did not work for me. It made my under eyes look so dry. It made me look sick and I just, I definitely did not like it. But this one guys, it feels so soft. I'm using it today and I love it. So thank you again to Sasha for sending me this and letting me test it out. I love it. And the last product that was sent to me is by Scentbird. So I got to test out two of their samples that I chose and then they sent me a beautiful box. Look at how gorgeous that is guys. I'm so obsessed with it. So this is like a special offer that they have right now. I think this is the perfect gift to ask for for Valentine's Day because you get to test out three perfumes. So they have several boxes. I chose the Parisian Sophisticate. So I'm just gonna say it right off the bat. I picked it because of the box. I wanted to keep the box for decor because you guys know I love Paris. You guys know I love pink and I thought the girl was so cute. Obviously I wanted to test out the perfumes also. I will link all the information down below. How Scent Bird works is basically a subscription box. You pay $14.95 a month and each month they send you a new perfume for you to 
test out. So if you are a perfume junkie like myself, this is the perfect subscription box to sign up for. I get tired of perfumes and I get bored and I want to try new ones, but we all know that perfumes can be so pricey. So think of it as buying a rollerball each month for only $14.95. If you go to Sephora, I think rollerballs are $20 through $30 if I'm not mistaken. So this is definitely, definitely worth it. The box I do believe is a little bit more pricey. So the first one that they sent me is this beautiful little pink packaging. I'm sure they know that I love pink so that's why they sent it to me. So this, the first one that I chose is in Isimiyaki. This is all in French. It's the floral Isimiyaki and I absolutely love this scent. That's why I chose it because I already knew I loved it and I don't have it. Oh, I can't stop smelling it. I love, love, love it. The next one that I decided to try is the Dolce & Gabbana Pore Femme. This one also smells delicious. I had never, I'm gonna smell like all kinds of perfumes. Oh yeah, that smells so good. I usually love Dolce & Gabbana perfumes. That's why I kind of just chose this one because I hadn't tried it out and I hadn't smelled it before, so I wanted to give it a try. It's a warmer perfume. I love warm perfumes. I love testing a bunch of perfumes out, so I don't mind. So in this box, we have three. The first one is Cavern Parfums. That smells really good. I definitely like that one. The next one that is in the box, Montel Roses Musk. Let me spray this one. I can't really smell it. Oh wow, that smells nice also. But if you are not into roses, you will definitely not like that one because it has a really strong scent of roses. And this last one that comes in a purple packaging is Lalique Pearls de Lalique. Oh, I'm not gonna like that one. Oh, no, 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 no. That's like a grandma scent. Oh, that is way too strong for me. I might just give that to my mom or something. So two out of three, not bad. With these boxes here, you can actually read the scents of the perfumes. So if you want to go in store and smell them first before purchasing the box, you can definitely do that. So thank you again to Scentbird for sending me these goodies. I'm definitely going to enjoy them. Okay, guys, so now the fun part. All the things that I found are either from Ross, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx. I'm going to start off with... Ross and the clothing that I found there guys I'm so excited because I usually don't shop at Ross for clothing but lately I've been finding so many cute things and on clearance so I'm really excited the first thing that I picked up are some sweats I love this color these were only $8.99 and these sweats are really trending right now I love it because the waistband is very thick I love when sweatpants have this at the bottom because I'm short and most jeans or pants are long on me so I love when they have have this in the bottom the next thing that I found is a beautiful gray sweater this was on clearance for $9.99 guys I love it so it is like a distressed sweater so cute I love distressed clothing I don't know I'm just intrigued by it and then it also has some in the back my mom tells me why would you buy clothes that's broken <laughs> but I'm like mom it's just fashion you don't understand but yeah that was such a good deal for only $9.99 originally it was $14 next I don't know what it is I have an obsession with velvet things I don't know I just love it and I found these really cute sweats I originally saw these in Marshalls for $17 by the Tahari brand they look identical guys and I found it for $6.49. $6.49 49, guys. Can you believe that? So there are these really cute velvet pink sweats. I am so in love with these. I got these just to lounge around the house. I also found some velvet leggings in black. Guys, these were only $3.99. What? I am not kidding you. These are so cute to wear with like oversized t-shirts. Love, love, love it velvet again and it's all black and it's just basically a legging i found the cutest girliest skirt i've always wanted one of these but i don't know i just never wanted to pay the price for them but when i saw it at ross and the price i was all over it it was on clearance for 8.99 originally 13 look at how cute I'm so in love with it. I can't wait to wear this in the summer. You guys know I'm the girliest girl ever. When I saw this, I was like, yes, I can just imagine the outfit I'm going to wear with it. It's in a dusty pink color and... I love it. Next, I found this beautiful blouse. This was $11.99. It wasn't on clearance, but I couldn't leave it behind. I thought it was so gorgeous. So this is what the shirt looks like. I 
love it here is the sleeve i am obsessed with bell sleeve shirts i'm wearing one right now i just love how they look on they're so flattering and the pearls are so gorgeous another thing that i really love on clothing and the last clothing piece that i picked up it is a white shirt so this one was absolutely gorgeous and i feel like it'll look so cute with some distressed jeans and some pumps yes so anyways this is the shirt it is so cute it is so basic but i just love the sleeves like i said i love bell sleeves i'm just so excited i found these clothing pieces and for such a good price so if you guys haven't checked out ross clothing you should definitely jump on it because you can find some really good things at ross i love me some ross by the way that this white shirt is 13.99 okay guys so next i picked up the most gorgeous belt i am so in love with it i found this at Marshalls for six dollars guys and I actually recently saw it marked down to three dollars this is by the brand Vince Komodo and this is what it looks like it is a double buckle belt I just think it's so beautiful I wish they had it in tan but I will settle for this one and for six dollars you definitely can't go wrong I actually found this in Las Vegas when I was there I was hunting for it because someone posted it on Instagram and I was like oh my god I gotta find it I used to use this perfume when I first met my husband when we were dating and it just has sentimental value to me so I wanted it again and it is the Michael Kors very Hollywood perfume I love how this smells I haven't opened it because I've been waiting for this video and it's just been sitting in a bag this bottle is so cute so this is what the bottle looks like so pretty and then in the top it says very Hollywood Michael Kors oh it smells so good and it brings back so many memories like this is why I collect perfumes because they just bring you back to a place where you just remember nice things hopefully nice things <laughs> so if you've been following me for a while then you know I love me some sheet masks I swear by them I feel like they make my skin so happy so pretty so bright so glowy it has so many benefits so I found two new masks that I wanted to share with you guys I always pick mine up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls you cannot beat their prices I haven't found a place that carries them cheaper so I found this new one it is called skin food everyday variety mask sheet it brings 10 for $7.99 that is such a steal so it brings all of these this is what the box looks like. It brings lentil, orange, olive, yogurt, quinoa, beauty berry, broccoli, green tea, tomato, and super nuts. Each mask has its own benefits. It brings one for toning, glowing, and clarifying, refreshing, soothing, smoothing, moisturizing, hydrating, antioxidant, nourishing, and rejuvenating. So each one has a different benefit. I'm so excited I found this. I actually should have picked up two, but that's okay. The next one that I have is called Detox. Detoxifying Bubble Charcoal Mask. This one was $4.99. It only brings five. But if you think about it, it's basically just a dollar per each mask, which is amazing. So this is what the box looks like. I picked this one up also in Las Vegas. And I haven't tried it because I like to show you guys things before I test them out. I'm really excited because I love bubble masks. The next thing that I found is by the brand Zone Training. And it is Resistant Loop Bands. And this is what it looks like. I actually saw these in Academy. I think it was $20 dollars for basically the same item i found it at marshall's for 7.99 um i got inspired by chloe kardashian i see her workouts on snapchat and i'm like girl i gotta find those but for a better price so when i saw these i was really excited picked up a beautiful mirror it is by the brand nanette lapore i found this at marshall's for 4.99 and it is a compact mirror that's what it looks like it is rose gold blinked out i am so in love with it so my toner is almost done I saw this one and I picked it up. It says 1000 Roses Floral Toner. So I love anything roses for my skin but just because roses are very hydrating. So I saw this and I had to pick it up. So this is what the bottle looks like for only $4.99. What a steal. I'm telling you guys, I don't shop at Sephora anymore. Okay, so next is mostly makeup. I found two Kat Von D lipsticks in the Studded Kiss at Marshalls. They were $6.99 each. I found the colors in Motorhead and Cathedral. I think she reformulated her lipsticks and her packaging. I picked up Motorhead. That's what it looks like. It is a super vampy blackberry color. And the other one is in Cathedral. Right up my alley. I love these type of colors. I probably have a million of them. I posted this also on my Instagram. I found the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. These were each 
priced at $6.99. Such a steal. I believe these are $20 each in store. So I found four beautiful colors. I found Vamp. The next one I found is called Catnip. And this one I had on my list to buy at Sephora. And I definitely removed it as soon as I found it. It's called Sad Girl. And the last one that I found, it is called Milkshake. A lot of people use this liquid lipstick to mix it with other ones. And then the last lip item that I found is by the brand Buxom. It is a lip trio. So it brings a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a lip liner. This was only $7.99 at Marshalls. Next, I found two Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Quad. I found two different colors. I actually found all of them in my stores, but I didn't want two of them. I think it was a plum and a smoke one. I'm never going to wear them, so I was like, why buy them? So I found the Rust one, which I know I'm definitely going to use because they're just warm colors. That's what they look like. And these were each $9.99, and I found the Sage one something different and I wanted to give it a try I don't have nothing like the sage one so I definitely wanted to pick that one up I also picked up a new brow gel I also found this at Marshall's for only $4.99 this is the L'Oreal brow stylus plumper I've heard good things about it and I just got it in the transparent color I found the Amika the perfect body whipped mousse this is the travel version this was $5.99 at TJ Maxx they had a bunch of Amika products they had shampoos conditioners sprays so if you like Amika products definitely check out TJ Maxx I found two makeup brushes that I'm so excited about the first one is the Kat Von D shade and light contour brush I was hunting for this bad boy when I found it I was so excited so I believe I paid $12.99 I don't remember either way it was brand new it came in the plastic and everything I couldn't believe I found this this retails for like $30 at Sephora it even comes with with its little container so cute and then it's just the double-sided brush I have a Kat Von D brush that I paid full price for and I love it this is called the premium powder brush by the brand La Fleur that's what it looks like how beautiful it is rose gold with pink hairs love it and it feels so soft I found this at Marshall's for only $5.99 I mean even just as display this would look gorgeous it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast okay guys so we are down to the last bag so the first pair of socks that I found was during Christmas it is by the brand Betsy Johnson these were $3.99 at Marshall's I thought this was so cute so it's pink with some gingerbreads on them I love it it comes with three different styles this one is just a plain what is is black and pink and then this one it looks like a gingerbread tree I totally forgot that I had them that's why they're still brand new the next two socks I love using these during the fall time they just look so cute with boots and when I saw them at TJ Maxx I definitely jumped on it so the first ones are by the brand born these go over the knee and these were $3.99 how cute are these I love how it has two buttons and this little lace detail here. They're just all like a cream color. And then right next to that one, I saw another one. These are knee-high socks by the brand Also Born. But look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh, I fell in love. They're so cute. I can't wait to wear those. So next, I found the cutest nightgown. I'm so in love with it. And it is by the brand Kate Spade. I actually posted this on my Instagram when I saw it immediately because I knew people were going to go crazy. So I found this at Marshall's for $20. It was a little pricey, but I believe it is so worth it. So this is what the gown looks like. How cute is that? Oh my gosh tell me it doesn't scream me I am so in love with it it has eyelashes compact mirror lipstick and then in the neck part it has a little bow on it right there and this retails for $68 guys but I found it at Marshall's for only $20 so the last thing that I found is a beautiful sweater I found this at Marshall's for $16.99 so it is a gray mid turtleneck sweater so pretty but my favorite part is the front I love that detail that it has all right guys so that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did so with that being said i thank you guys all for watching and i hope to see you in my next video